Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. A little while ago, I did a video on the JS splitter plugins. They separate a sound into different frequency ranges, and I had a template set up to split that out to separate tracks. Uh, at the end of that video, I mentioned the JS joiner plugin, which allows you to do that same thing on a single track. So now it's time to look at that one. So I have this drum loop here, and I'm going to split it up into three different bands and put plugins on the track to manipulate low, mids, and highs independently. Here's the sound we're starting out with. Over in the effects browser in the JS category, we're looking for three band splitter. And there's also four band and five band splitters, but just to keep this simple, we're going to use the three band. So we need three band splitter and then a three band joiner after that. And then very importantly, we need to set this track to six channels. We're splitting this up into three separate bands. So uh, channels one and two are the low frequencies, channels three and four are the mid frequencies, and channels five and six are the high frequencies. Track channels six, we can close this window. Now if we play it back, it should sound the same. And if we had this set up as a two-channel track, we would only hear the lows. Make sense? All right, so six channels. Uh, so we can close this plugin, don't need that. We can use the same default um, crossover points. And in this joiner plugin, there are three controls here. Booster cut 24 dB of the frequency bands. So we can use this kind of as an EQ. So it looks like you can't type in any setting you want, but it gives us uh, 48 decibels of control over these bands, which is quite a lot. I'm going to keep these at default and then use plugins to manipulate this stuff. So let's think about what we can do. Maybe on the uh, high frequencies, we can put in a delay. So I'm going to put this in. It's in between the splitter and the joiner plugin. I'm going to click here to open up my plugin routing. And I want this to receive on five and six and output on five and six. Uncheck those ones there. Let's do like a really short delay. So half an eighth note is a sixteenth note. Give it some feedback. And actually, let's adjust this crossover point. So it's at 2K. Let's bring it up to like, let's do 8,000. So everything above 8,000 will be delayed by a 16th note. Cool. And we can add in some stereo enhancement by just simply adding in additional delay time to one of the sides. So an additional 15 milliseconds on the right side. And that delay is only in the signal above 8,000. Cool effect already. Let's try a gate on the kick and see how that sounds. Because it's the kick, we can do the default settings here, and we'll just gate this a little bit. Let's see, what can we do? We can, um, kind of solo the low end by 
pulling those tracks down or these faders down in the joiner plugin. Okay, so that's just tighter. And put in an EQ after the gate. So that's cool. And now let's bring these up again. Now I'm going to grab a different effect. I'm going to add in the lo-fi plugin from Air and put this on channels three and four. So three and four and out three and four like that. Let's hear how this sounds. There you go, just an example of what you can do. It's an interesting set of plugins. They let you think about sound in a different way, let you process them in a way you wouldn't normally think about. And for that, I really like them. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.